preaching and fuck out of black people and why that was okay at one point. So when we speak about the Bible, I don't know who wrote the Bible. I don't know who added that information into the Bible. So for me to build my life around just practicing and following that his Bible, I'm not gonna do that because that was written by man. And man doesn't put his own opinion inside that book. Like what, what part What part of the Bible don't you agree with? I've, I've read through the Bible and think it's things I agree with in the Bible. I'm like, okay, that's common sense. But there's things I don't agree with. And then like, oh, if you don't follow, if you don't follow the Bible, you're immediately bound for hell. Or if you're a certain sexuality, you're immediately bound for hell. That don't make no sense because it's good people out here. Regardless of their sexuality, regardless of anything. The Bible is too like, I, I would say it cages people in. It has so many different opinions inside of it that that you can't grieve trying to trying to live by that. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, I got you. You said a lot. You said a lot. I want to stick to what you said originally, because this is something that's plaguing our community. That's called Stockholm syndrome. You got Stockholm syndrome, because you mentioned that the white people, if they read it to do how they, however they want to read it, they can get the benefits from the Bible. That's what you said earlier. I'm going to show you that that's wrong. Psalms 147, verse 19. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. This is the Bible. God is saying that he showed his word unto Jacob. Who is Jacob, sis? Who is Jacob? Who is Jacob? It's going to say who it is. His statutes and his judgment. His what? His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Read. He have not dealt so. He what? He have not dealt so with any nation. The Bible is only for us. Now the judgment, there's a lot of things that seem unfair in the Bible for the plot for the black, Hispanic, and Native American. I agree with you, but that's part of the judgment because we broke God's laws. Give me, give me Psalms 15 and 16. Psalms 15 and 16. Now, yes, our, our history is before slavery, but why is it that everybody, blacks, Hispanics, were Baptist, Pentecostal, every other demon, denomination under the earth? Why is it? We learned it from the so-called white man. But this whole Bible is our history. Right. Now I'm gonna stick to your question and then we're gonna get into the credibility of the Bible. Read that. Psalms chapter 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked. But unto who? The wicked. God saith. Look at this. What do you see? Do you see? Do, would, wouldn't you say this is wicked whoever did this to these people? Yeah. It's wicked, right? Now let's, who did this to our people? We know who did this. Just, I'm not gonna make it about them. Okay, I help you. The so-called white man. Correct? That's right. Right. The Bible calls them Edomites. Now read it from the top. But unto the wicked, God saith, What hast thou to, to do to declare my statutes? What the hell are you doing reading the word that was only given to Jacob? The Bible say. The Bible is not for the so-called white man. That's right. They are the devil the Bible speaks of, sis. Right. Now, there is a lot of things unfair in the Bible, but that's called judgment. Deuteronomy 28, 68. This is a judgment. It doesn't change the fact that the Bible is only for the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. It doesn't change the fact that we are still God's chosen people. It doesn't change the fact that we got to leave religion. It doesn't change the fact that we don't have to keep the commandments. We still gotta keep the commandments, sis. A lot of things seem unfair, but they are judgments. God is waiting for us to come together so there's change in our lives, and then there's gonna be true change. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. When we left Egypt, we never went back, right? So Egypt is going into slavery. So he's talking to the Israelites. The Lord is going to bring you back into slavery. Like the black and Hispanic is in America. Read it from the top. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. How? With ships. Wait a minute. The Bible speaks about slave ships. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With ships, Read. by the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Jerusalem will never see Jerusalem again. And there, America, Central America, uh, Europe, wherever the slave ships went. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. No, unto your friends. Unto your enemies. Unto your buddies. Enemies. For bond men and bond women, 
Now, do you believe that part in the Bible? I do. You do? So now... I just certain things that I can, I can agree with, just based off me doing my research in other places. But I'm not, I'm not in a position to be having this conversation with you because I didn't think this opportunity is going to come up today for me to have that information ready. But I'm going to take this. I'm going to keep the contract and I want to debate on this. Joel 2.27. You want to debate? Well, listen. Really, the Bible's not even open for debate. That, the Bible says no, no man can interpret it in his own private interpretation. The Bible's not open for private interpretation. So there's really no debating. It's facts. It's yay or nay. The Bible, you can't, you can't debate the Bible. That's not the original Bible. That's not the original Bible. The original what is the original Bible? We don't know. The Bible, Bible Dictionary, Bible. King James? We didn't write the history. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't have all, the, all these resources when it was placed out to the public. Everyone, Isaiah 46, declaring the end from the beginning. 46 to 10. It's, I mean, it can be certain information in there that can just follow the same as a lot of information that can just follow the same as a lot of information that can just follow the same as a lot of information that can just follow the same as a lot of information that can just follow the same as a lot of information that can just we were in slave ships before the so-called African Americans. When I started reading that, I became a believer immediately. Check this out, says Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning. The Bible, when you read Genesis, it declares the end from the beginning. Read, declaring the end from the beginning uh -huh. and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. The things that are not yet done. The only thing that we're waiting for is what? Because the Israelites already have fallen away by the sword. We already went into slavery. The things that are not yet done is the second coming of Christ. Right. Now let me ask you a question. What color is Christ? Christ is black. Christ is black. Check this out. How do you know? He talks about being black. Oh, wait a minute, but, but you don't truly believe in the Bible. Because that's not the original Bible. You just said that. Tendency. They have to extreme tendency. I'm not saying one person wrote that information. In. It's multiple people who wrote information in. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's, it's not just one person wrote that book. That book has been revised. Second Peter's one and twenty. Mm -hmm. Regardless, I'm going to show you. The shit I've read in there is too extreme. The Bible. Listen. The Bible has not. I'm going to prove it to you with the Bible. Revelation 13, 10, hold that. I'm going to show you it has not been tampered with. I'm going to show the white man is, listen, listen. No, you said it. I'm going to prove it. Revelation 13, 10. Reading it out the Bible. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. The white man that led us into captivity shall go into captivity. My go shall go into captivity. Read! He that killeth with the sword. He that what? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. If the Bible was tampered with, why is the white man going to leave that in there? Why? Because the Bible has not been tampered with. Sister. That's right. Holy men of God inspired wrote the Bible like it says in Peter's. The only thing is, you, you're truly not converted, sis. You, you, you truly want to hold the affairs of this world. There's something you ain't letting go to. Maybe may, it might be the love for the other nations, which I said, that's Stockholm Syndrome, sister. That's what plagues blacks and Hispanics. We can't, in our mind, we can't fathom a God that's going to destroy certain race. We just can't fathom that. But the Bible's saying that they are the devil the Bible speaks of. They got to pay for what they did. Right. You got to, all you got to worry about is you obtaining your own salvation. What you got to do, you got to bring your people together. What you got to focus on is loving yourself, exactly. loving your race. Exactly. And that's yeah. the problem with blacks and, and Hispanics. I can do all of the above without having to go so in depth in the Bible. I can do all of that. But listen, this is the comforter. Without the comforter, you can do nothing. Give me that John 14. John, uh, what is it, 14, 6? 26. 26. 26. Read that. Where did that. this come about? Like, what did this come about? Where, where, where did all of this come about? Where did this come about? 2003, Israel united in Christ. This has been going on since 2003. Since before. Wait, are you talking about our organization? This organization. 2003. 2003. Yes, under our bishops. Okay. Yes. Check this out. John 
John chapter 14 and verse 26. But the comforter. But what? But the comforter. What is the comforter? What comforts you? A white, a, when you sit down in a lazy boy and a white therapist tells you what to do, what are your problems? Is that your comfort? What comforts you when you're going through it? The word of God. Right. Because you said certain things you agree with, certain things you don't need the Bible. You can decide for yourself. That's contrary to what the Bible says. Read it again. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, which is the Bible, who the Father will send in my name. Read. He shall teach you all things. He what? He Daniel. shall teach you all things. A few things. All things. We got to rely as it is written, sister. You can't. Give me that. Uh, go off your own. Uh, curses the man. Your own thoughts. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5. Jeremiah 17 and 5. Jeremiah 17 and 5. I used to be just like you, sis. I used to smoke pot. I used to do coke. Oh. I used to. I, I'm not saying you do. I'm saying, I'm saying I was I was lost, okay? You, you're lost in, in your own way. But you know why? Because I was relying on my own mind. Like you said, listen, mm -hmm. you can't trust your mind. And I'm going to tell you what. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. When, it's, when the Bible mentions heart, what is it making reference to? Is it talking about an organ that pumps blood? No, right? What is it making reference to? Your mind, correct? Read it again. The heart is deceitful above all things. Above all things. Your mind. When you start saying, you know what? I can do things on my own. Certain things, I believe in the Bible. But the other things, I'm going to let my own mind guide me. Read. And desperately wicked. The Bible saying that your mind, my mind, his mind, Everybody's mind is who, desperately who wicked. Who said all that in my mind? Me, though. Say I, it again. When I told you I was a spiritual person, you I, I don't go based off my mind. I go off my intuition, how I feel. Just like you said, if God places all down here, we all got a piece of God in us. It, it's that feeling. It's that energy you get. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a feeling. Sometimes there's no thought needed. That's very important to know and feel what's right. Once, once Adam and Eve ate that motherfucking apple, you had he instilled that sense in people. You know what's wrong. You know what's right. It's Give a me feeling. Ciroc it's one. You walk with your cricket way, Ciroc one, and like uh, fourteen. Ciroc four seventeen. Ciroc four seventeen. Check this out. What you said, that's part of the grace. That's part of the Holy Spirit that God has on all the Israelites. He gives us opportunities. That's why you feel like you got the answers. But it, it, yeah, that time is going to run out eventually, sis. And then it's going to be death and destruction. Read that. Is death and destruction regardless? This is the word. Death, no. But I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking about the death and destruction after the judgment. A lot of us are going to get destroyed, but there's going to be no judgment for us to pay for the I consequences. Feel like, I feel like Check this out, sis. Regardless of if you read this, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter four and verse seventeen. For at first she for what? For at first she will walk with him by crooked way. At first, the Holy Spirit, the grace of God, is going to walk with all of us when we're in walking in crooked ways. Read. And bring fear and dread upon him. Man, why is blacks and Hispanics getting shot down? Why are we dying of this coronavirus? Why, are, why is this happening? Why do we got poverty? The worst education. The worst food. Read. And torment him with her discipline. Read. Until she may trust his soul. Until what? Until she may trust his soul. When, when, when does it come a point in our life when God can trust us? What do we got to do so God can trust us? Because it says first, she walks with us in crooked ways. We, we were all evil, sister. But then it says eventually she's going to walk with us when she trusts us. That's the wisdom. What do we got to do so God can trust us? That's a question for you. No, no, it's it's more than being good, sis. It, it's more than Christ says good. nobody's good but the Father. That's, right. That's what Christ said. Then all we can do is coexist, not fight each other. Coexist? No. Give me up, Matthew 25, 31. We can't coexist. Yeah. God, God, listen. Am, have I been giving you my opinion or everything out of the Bible? All, all of this, this whole thing. Everything out of the Bible. Bible. All of this is the Bible. The yes. Bible. All of this is the Bible. So you said we need to coexist, right? Let's find out what Jesus said. 
This is the book of Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. When the black Messiah comes for the second time, splits the sky. Read. And all the holy angels with him. Uh -huh. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Here it comes. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Before Jesus Christ shall be gathered all nations. Let's see if Jesus says we need to coexist. And he shall separate them. What? Separate them. Wait a minute. My sister says we just need to coexist. But Jesus Christ is going to do what? Separate them one from another. There ain't no coexisting. We, hey, listen. We got next, sister. What you got to do is repent. For, forget about what your mind tells you is kosher. You got to follow what is written. For example, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Read out. For example, basic, this is a basic, basic, basic commandment. I'm going to read this on my own then. I Check this out. This La last scripture, last scripture. If I was, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. Your mind is beautifully developed. Would you agree? Yes. You agree. Now I'm about to read a simple commandment. Let's find out where you're at spiritually. Okay. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman. Who? The woman. Clearly, you're a beautiful woman. Clearly. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What, what article of clothing pertains to men? You tell me. Would you agree that it's pants? Are we wearing dresses? We're wearing pants, right? Keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Woman's garments is high heels in a, in a dress or a skirt. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Read it again from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that they do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Right. Your we're word. An abomination, but wearing pants. You don't think that's extreme? But Adam and Eve was naked. Wearing clothes in general is an abomination. To no, God. sister. Adam and Eve were not naked, sister. They were not you naked. Have, you have no idea what that means. They were wearing. We were not savages. Listen. This is how they depict the Indians. So you mean to tell me Adam and Eve were dressed like that? With their ass all out? That's what you tell me? You got Christianity in your mind. How could you tell me? Because the Bible says there? it. No, but the Bible says it. We're not going to go into it because it's way over your level, sister. I just want you to get the basics. This is what you need to do. Zephaniah 2 and 1. This is extremism. This is not extremism, sister. This is, this is the truth. Bring it out. Right. Give me a say 58 and 1. This is not extremism. This is the... This is where I, oh, you, you want us, listen, if we were like the Christian church, oh, sister, Jesus loves you, little sheep, we're all going to hold hands and sing love about, would you say this is extreme? You'd be like, no, this is a beautiful thing these men are doing. But since the first time you're actually looking at men, this is the first time your eyes are looking at the prophets of God. Right. That's why you say it's extreme. Right. Because nobody's used to this. Read that. There's a book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Yeah. Cry aloud! What does God say? Cry aloud! Please! Spare not! Lift up thy voice like a trumpet! For what? And show my people their transgression! Sister, you shouldn't be wearing pants? Right. The Bible says cry out loud! Read out! You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans! You are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Oh, no. You need to repent before Christ cracks that sky system. Right. It's not extremism. We're being obedient to the Most High God. Right. Now, at 1 o'clock, come and visit us in La Mesa, California. Our wives are there. They're all there. Our daughters, our sons are waiting for us. You can come learn. You can see other black and Hispanic women in order. Right. That way your mind can start changing, sister. Right. It's it's going to be a process. It's like a drug addiction. You got years of Christianity. Did you know Christianity is worse than crack cocaine? Bring it out. Christianity yeah. is worse than any drug addiction in the planet. I'm come check this out because I have never seen nothing like Come check us out at 1 o'clock, sis. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission.
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.